Reopening has moved to the forefront of coronavirus conversations and here in Texas, Governor Greg Abbott is expected to announce new details tomorrow on how he plans to reopen the Lone Star State. It's expected the governor will open a range of businesses that includes restaurants, hair salons and retail outlets. The night team Stephen Cavazos is downtown now. Stephen, talk to us about how the governor's plans will impact us here locally. Tim, Courtney, that's what city leaders are still discussing here near the San Antonio Riverwalk. Businesses have been closed for almost a month now, but during today's daily briefing, Mayor Ron Nirenberg and Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf said reopening the city is something that's going to take some time. We are um, cautious about uh, what we may hear tomorrow. Mayor Ron Nirenberg says the city and county are waiting to hear how Texas Governor Greg Abbott will reopen the state. The governor announced earlier this month he has been seeking guidance from medical advisors on how businesses can reopen. The mayor says that he's hopeful the state will allow local government elbow room when it comes to current policies. We're going to be in a fairly dynamic situation here. The mayor said the city's carefully coordinating efforts to reopen the economy, but that all depends on the public health data. The governor's announcement on reopening the state could vary by the number of COVID-19 cases in each county. Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf says they're also waiting to hear from local health officials. I think the measures that we would get from the health committee uh, are going to be very good ones. The COVID-19 health transition team has been guiding city leaders on how to get back to everyday life. But the judge says people should still follow certain protocols as businesses start to reopen. When we say stay at home, uh, work, work safe, uh, we still want people to do that. The mayor also urging the community to continue following guidelines. People have to be on board with the measures that we're putting in place, whether they're orders or recommendations. Now, the public health transition team is expected to present their strategy to city leaders tomorrow following the governor's announcement. However, Mayor Ron Nierberg believes that the city will likely have to extend those executive orders even after that announcement. Reporting live downtown, Stephen Cavazos, KSAT 12 News. Tim Courtney.